You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 15 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. That's a guest, by the way. I'm Matt. <laughs> and I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about WWE leading up to the WWE Super Showdown. Yeah, uh, pretty much. The go-home shows. Yeah, uh, unnecessary Raw and SmackDown, basically. Uh, yeah, because everything had already been set up. There was no... Nothing happened that didn't, like... That would affect what's going to happen on Saturday. Yes. So, but whatever. Um, so both shows were not good. No. Yeah. Oh, so here's my new thing. Okay. Since I don't really care about who's wrestling 99% of the time, regardless uh-huh. if it could be the best match or the worst match, I just close my eyes. <laughs> so I just see who's wrestling and then I close my eyes and I'm like, I already know the result. This, it, Dude, it doesn't matter. Generally speaking. Well, you don't need to watch the matches. No, you, because, because you don't learn anything. Well, not from even them. that. They don't do a good enough job of building characters where it's like, I don't know, a match really matters. Like the whole reason for the match is generally built up between a feud between two characters. It's true, and, and they've been doing a lot of matches that don't make any sense. Yeah, so um, that's a fair point, I guess. So. Well, all right, so if we were to make this is completely random, sure. 2018 edition of the Job Squad. Uh huh. So what do we got? Is, it, is, is there a particular amount of people that? I'm gonna say to four. Four. We okay. got Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode. Um, Ty Dillinger. Ty Dillinger. Yes. Finn. No. You don't think so? No. He's he he feels because they give him. <sighs> He might not win that often, but he has a presence. I guess. Because, you know, you got to remember the leader of the job sw- squad, Al Snow, <laughs> really only got over because of his mannequin head. Because so. everybody wanted head. Yes. So <laughs> that doesn't really count because people actually believe in Finn. I get. You know what? We believe and then we get disappointed. Which is fine. It's different. Yeah, it's very different. I know, but there's always hope there. Um, that's what everybody's problem is. But I, ours. I would say Jinder obviously belongs in there now because yeah. he loses constantly, but he's meant to. And then Elias. <laughs> what? How? Because he loses all the time. I guess he literally is a jobber. I, I guess that's the only fair. difference is he he's given time on TV. All right, that's whatever. the only difference, right. and that's what the job squad I don't did. like that pick. I, okay. I don't care if you like it; it's true. <laughs> you, we you can't sure? even say the members of the Ascension are job. No, because they won twice. twice. <laughs> it was Connor. Victor hasn't won anything. <laughs> that's fair. Um, which is pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> but what? Whatever. <laughs> At, oh, at, at, that's a pretty fair point to uh, not really care about what's going on, though. It's true. Like, like I even, last night during SmackDown, the Shelton and Daniel Bryan match, I was like, this doesn't matter. Whoever wins, no one's going to gain momentum from this. It's true. It's not going to go anywhere. It was a good match. Close my eyes, and Daniel Bryan almost died. He did, but it was a good match. Mm-hmm. Um, Shelton was, Benjamin at the beginning almost yeah. killed him. So great. This is not on topic with WWE again, but it's, but it's with wrestling. Oh, okay. so remember we were talking about uh, Joey Ryan's penis party last sure. week off camera. I said you were gonna, I'm gonna get you to go. Um, apparently, he's doing uh, weddings for people. <laughs> and once Christine learned the news, she wanted, she was interested in it. So I said, the only way Joe, Joey Ryan will be able to come to our wedding is if he dick flips you. So. She's down with it, so if the opportunity arises, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I, I'd be a willing participant. There in we this. go. Uh, right into the cake. Well, because <laughs> there's a difference, because I'm not going to go out of my way to do something like that. But if it's something I'm going to be doing already, I might as well enjoy the ride. I guess that kind so. of thing. Yeah, fair enough. So, so that's just figure, that's pretty you funny. Know, at least you're forewarned. Yeah, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> Uh, All right. Yeah, they they had him, you know, paid his hotel travel. Of course, his his going wrestling rate, uh-huh. and they let him sell merchandise at the wedding. Well, I was gonna say, technically speaking, what's the difference between making a regular appearance and, true. and wrestling? Yeah. It's just amazing. So it was it was hilarious. Yeah. Well, it just means that he's gained some traction in terms of oh, absolutely popularity. And then, then people are with, getting angry and stuff like that. You know, the normal nonsense. That doesn't make any sense. No. Whatever. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Uh So what we learned from Raw is that Seth and Roman are not allowed to defend their titles 
And well, at no, least Roman isn't. Roman. I thought he said Seth was. No, nah, he came out specifically if during, during Roman Roman's match. And Dolph, right? Yeah, it was Roman and Dolph. Yeah. You're not allowed to defend the title. Mm-hmm. Apparently, that's punishment. Yeah, until crown jewel. Doesn't make, make any sense. Uh, so, this was reported as well. Uh, the Rock was offered. It's offered like thirty million dollars. I, to be the WWE champion going into Saudi Arabia that, next year. That was, I think, I heard it was like a rumor, yeah, yeah, yeah not yeah. reported. No, fair enough. Yeah, because reported yes. would mean that it was announced by it, the WWE. Well, or the I guess Rock. that's that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yes, rumored. it was rumored. Yes, I heard that as well. But um, I wouldn't be a surprise. No, sure. I wouldn't put it past them at all. Um, the fact that he isn't going to just go in general doesn't is mm-hmm. a little surprising yeah. too. Okay. It's, it's going to be an interesting event. Yeah, because there had been a lot of rumors that The Rock would be coming back. Yeah, coupled, Roman. <laughs> coupled with rumors that a repeat winner of the Royal Rumble. I saw that as the well. The Rock has won a Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. And the next trip to Saudi Arabia in 2019. Right after WrestleMania. Right after WrestleMania. So, be so there's rematch. a pretty damn good chance that Rock comes back during the Royal Rumble, wins it, and then beats... I guess it would be Roman, because I don't think it. They said specifically WWE champion. I think they said world champion. Yeah, whatever. Yes, I know, but yeah. it's a it's a big difference between having him beat Roman at WrestleMania than having him beat like. Doesn't matter. Do you think The Rock would be anywhere near the WWE title on SmackDown, the B Show? Well, it is his show. I, I realize that, but it's still. <laughs> the b show in wwe's eyes i guess it's more entertaining it's two hours i i still (laughs) i still disagree with that being the main reason oh no no it's part of the reason though i guess i guess it's because like the i don't even know what the hell you feel less inclined to waste time well like the opening segment last night in the first match and the show was a quarter of the way done and you're like all right breezing by here yeah i guess that's true um anyway that there, there's also a chance he comes back in two weeks for that thousandth episode of raw smackdown yeah that's what yeah. i meant because uh, evolution is confirmed to be there mm-hmm. the and team that was mainly on raw right i don't think they were ever um every one of them spent time on smackdown right but as a group but they... as a group they were not on raw yes because you mean smackdown yeah i'm having trouble today I don't know what's going on. Just today? Yeah, because mm-hmm. Triple H spent the large majority of the beginning of the brand split on Raw and then eventually went to SmackDown, but that was like in the late 2000s. Mm-hmm. Um, Batista spent a good amount of time on SmackDown, right. but that was yeah, before yeah. Triple H got there. Um, and then Randy Orton, I think, never went to SmackDown? Wow. Or if he did for a brief period of time until the new, new brand, brand split. split. Yeah, yeah. And then Ric Flair, I don't think everyone on SmackDown. Yeah, probably that's, not. That's irrelevant. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, that's mm-hmm. weird. I think it was more to get Batista back. Probably, because he was the one going, oh, thousandth yeah. episode of SmackDown's coming up, and I haven't been invited. Yeah. But. So I think this is probably more pandering to Batista, and Ric Flair has already been around, and obviously Triple H is there, and Randy Orton's an active wrestler on SmackDown. Yes, makes so. sense. All right, all right, so I know we're... We're on the topic of SmackDown 1000. So uh-huh. Who's getting the beatdown from Evolution? Uh, Sanity? Well, no. Mm-mm, no. So I think that if The Rock does come back, it's just going to end with like The Rock and Triple H fighting each other. And that's how the show's going to end. Yes. I know it doesn't make any sense, but The Rock's going to hit a rock, uh, people's elbow on Triple H, and then mm-hmm. that's going to be... Well, I think the... The Rock and the Usos. Yeah. But I don't think The Rock will come back for that. I'm just saying. But I, I'm just saying. The bigger rumor is Rey Mysterio coming back for SmackDown 1000. But isn't he already he's signed? signed so yeah, he's but that's when he's going to make his return. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with Evolution. No, I know, but I don't think they're going to do The Rock coming back. Mm. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, too much going on. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Uh, but we are at the point where we are focused on the old men. The retirement home, mm-hmm. since that's what uh, closed SmackDown, uh, Raw out. Now you got me doing it. It's true. Son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, whatever. I was going to go into it that way, but it, it it's stupid. What? Um, so how about this Trish and uh, Alexa Bliss build? I liked the moment of Bliss. Her math was off, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference. 
She she is very very good. Yeah, but it's kind of stupid. Oh, it's dumb because Trish isn't going to be able to defend herself for anything. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like um, when Samoa Joe was yelling at Paul Heyman at Brock Lesnar mm-hmm. during their build because Lesnar uh, was never there. That's true. But Samoa Joe kept on saying stuff at him. Same thing with Roman, obviously. More but recent. I mean, to be fair, small children are annoying. So, you know. Because she was young and wanted an autograph. Oh, 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 oh. You're <laughs> defending Trish's... Actions, of okay. course. Yeah, her, her, her alleged actions. Yeah, anytime the heel does actions, it's generally for a good reason. Well, yeah, but Trish was never a heel. I know, but in this scenario, she, Alexa she's... is making her look like the bad guy. Okay. <laughs> I like I like that you're willing to look outside the box. Damn right. But yeah, that was that was good. I enjoyed that, and you know there was actually some build to a, a pay per view that's happening three weeks from now that yeah. has only had two announced matches or eh, technically five. Yeah. Because they haven't obviously they don't know who's going to be competing for the title matches, but there'll be at least three. Right. And we're gonna get well, no, Charlotte. And yeah. Charlotte and Becky. Becky. Ronda and well, I guess we're still assuming it's going to be Nikki. We'll although probably really... find out Saturday, I would yeah. assume. Um, and then, well, Monday, so something will happen oh, on yeah, Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. But um, if that's where they're going to yeah. plant the seeds, mm-hmm. yeah, it's going to. And sad. then it's going to be Shayna and um, Kyrie Sane for the NXT mm-hmm. title. That has been confirmed. Yes. And then and I the think finals do the and... NXT UK Championship. I guess I haven't heard anything on that. But then again, anything. Dealing but, with NXT and the yeah. UK and anything else I haven't paid attention to. Yeah, and then just there's been no real talk of Evolution. No. Although they did have a, an advert for it during yeah. Raw. And I'm guessing that was for everybody, not just for the local audiences. Yeah, I would imagine so. Mm. Well, they, we are they the always, local audience, so... It, yeah, but they always do stuff like that. No, well... Because it, it said um streaming live on the wwe network yeah and it, it wasn't lows like long island we're coming oh that's true like, yeah. yeah 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 fair it enough. was like a full advert yes yeah there's seven matches confirmed yeah there will ah uh, spoilers oh <laughs> you didn't know that no, yeah, i don't yeah. it doesn't really matter yeah. i don't i only know who one of these people oh, okay. are anyway all right well, i let's, only watched the well, first let's not two spoil episodes. it for other people yeah i wasn't uh, going to so I guess we're gonna get the Authors of Pain and B Team feud. No, uh, they just, they're that, gonna have at least have a match. That, yes, but there's no feud. What's going to happen true. is that they're gonna be um, set as Baron Corbin's henchmen because because of what happened. Yes, but I, I think they didn't know what to do at first. Now that they've figured it out, mm-hmm. they're establishing it that they'll be his guys based off of what happened after the beatdown of the B team. Right. So yeah, because we got to see the revival in the B team for the eight thousandth time, and, and that's when I turned off Raw. the B team won. Yeah. Yeah. So any <laughs> momentum the revival had after that almost great defeating match last the week. tag team champions out the window, mm-hmm. completely useless. It's amazing. And this is how you kill everything, and that's what WWE manages to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no consistency. Yeah. Or at least no consistency like once they change their mind. Right. Cuz Oh yeah, no, it's tunnel vision then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> it it really is amazing. I'm like, uh cuz last week I think we said we'll never see the B team again. Mhm. And then this week they show up, and then they manage to beat the team <laughs> that actually looked like they could win uh, the tag titles. Oh jeez. Amazing. Uh but yeah, after that match um, the AOP, they attack the B team right, for whatever not the reason. Of pain anymore, right? Yeah, <clears throat> and then Baron Corbin sees them in the back and says they he likes their attitude and blah blah no, blah. They teamed up last week. <laughs> eh, I'm okay with it yeah, because it, it still makes sense because technically speaking, it's not like he made it seem like they're new. I got you. He was yeah, just yeah. encouraging the behavior. Fair enough. Which is what he's supposed to be doing. So if they're going to be his henchmen, so to speak, then what does that leave uh, Mr. Maverick to do? I think he'll still be involved. Yeah. There's no reason why he can't also be there. It's true. I guess that's fair. Yeah. And they like the look of him wearing the flak jacket, I guess. I don't know. He looks funny. got the L-ring look, uh, I guess. But yeah, it's a a mess. So, I mean, we talked about it off camera. The... uh, the segment with Kevin Owens and Elias. Oh yeah, getting the ultimate heel heat. Yeah, or just the ultimate hate. I was gonna say it was the, it uh, was not 
I still don't think that they expected that kind of uh, reaction. So, (laughs) so Ko and Elias do their thing, normal pandering or anti-pandering, whatever you want to call it. So it's it's just so mind-boggling. Any role you give Kevin Owens, he excels. It's true. He he fits everywhere. (laughs) So that's true. Um, So Elias says something about uh, Seattle not deserving a basketball team. (laughs) Because I guess the Supersonics left, and I think they changed their name, if I'm not Probably, mistaken. Probably, I don't know. I don't. Um, so the crowd goes nuts, and they don't it's stop booing. Constant. Do not stop booing. So Elias and Ko are trying to, you know, continue the segment like planned, <laughs> and they just can't nope. because they can't hear each other mm-hmm. o- over the. We're booing. gonna turn up our microphones now. Yeah. So it was it was good because like, Kevin Dunn get in the back and turn this audience down. Yeah, it's not very often that that you know actually happens. Oh yeah, no, no, it was something else, and people who were there live were saying it was unbelievable. Oh yeah, so because it was so loud just on TV, you mm-hmm. can only imagine how bad it was there. But that's pretty cool actually. That you know everyone got, got a, together. Yeah, they got yeah. a big reaction out of them. Yeah, it's not this you know fifty fifty. Yeah, for whatever reason, I think the Northwest crowds are a little more into it because even at the beginning of the show, mm-hmm. uh, during the match between Braun and uh, Dean, yeah, there was they were really Which, into it. It was, was a good it match. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, it actually showed Dean trying to thwart the giant. Mm-hmm. He hit dirty deeds. I know, and he kicked out. I honestly <laughs> thought he was going to win after that. I was like, "Up, oh, streak's broken." He, I mean, somebody's probably. I don't know. Still don't know. I still don't know. There's yeah. a good chance that no one's kicked out of it yeah. before so that. That was a match that was intriguing. I yeah. actually watched mm-hmm. it. Yeah, it was good. Um, don't want to go back on what I said earlier. You know, <laughs> well, you're just falling asleep during every <laughs> just match. Just closing my eyes. Um, but yeah, obviously Braun overpowers him. I shouldn't say obviously because I did think he was going to win, but mm-hmm. that's usually how it goes. Yeah. Um, and then obviously Dean seemed like he was on the ropes. Roman comes out completely unprovoked. Just came out. Yeah. Tacked Braun. Gets disqualified. So Braun wins. Braun's all excited. And Seth came out, right? Seth came out because Braun started beating up Roman too. Um, oh, and then um, Ziggler and uh, McIntyre come out. And then so does Corbin. And then he makes a match between, I think it was Seth and Drew later on. And yeah. then Roman and Dolph right afterwards. So... Well, was, well, like I said, before Raw started, I texted you and went, oh, God, we're building to a pay-per-view where there's no title matches. Mm-hmm. And then you wrote, shield, shield, shield. Yep. It's the shield show. <laughs> That's it. Couldn't have been. And from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, That's 100% true. Yep. They weren't on TV after 10 o'clock. No. But that's fine. Um I did watch the Ronda versus Ruby Riot match, which wasn't bad. No, it was, it was pretty good. I got some some looks in there mm-hmm. Liv was back to ringside with her pink, pink hair. hair yes i'm like is it the color look seems off because i, I think it looks right on it well because it's so light that it could just be like a hue problem mm, i guess could be blonde <laughs> and i guess it's so. fair because ruby's hair was more red yes, than normal yes, too was, uh, all so, right <laughs> It, what's going on and here? brown hair <laughs> wouldn't really translate too much if there was a problem with the color either yeah, that's fair. so yeah i anyway. guess live is cleared for saturday right or we haven't I, heard anything they can they've they said she's going to be in the match yeah. but we don't really know for sure up until it's still weird but the idea that she got a concussion two weeks ago and no or that they're just, having the, the six woman tag yeah like they if if they're not 100% sure, and they just advertise it. Oh, well, that's the thing, though. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Or they you... take her out of the match. They just take Brie out of the match, yeah. too. That's it. <laughs> Be the right call. Yeah. Or what, the, what they'll actually probably do is just have somebody else join the Riot Squad, like Alicia Fox or something. I guess so. It doesn't make any oh, sense. I know. It's true. But they're not good at making yeah. sense, and she's the only other heel. Mm-hmm. Because it's funny, like, like they're literally all faces except for the Riot Squad now. And Bliss. Basically. And Mickey James. Yeah. And Bliss is wrestling already. Mm-hmm. Is she? No, she's hurt. No, yeah, yeah, she's not she's wrestling. Hurt. No, no, no. 
That's, well, they could throw there's only two. Uh, no, there's three women's matches. They can throw a Mickey James. Yeah. But uh, it seems like, yeah. So for Raw's side on the showdown, we have two six person tags mm-hmm. a tag match with Lashley and Cena versus Elias and Owens, mm-hmm. the old men match. <laughs> yes. And that's it. I mean, I guess if you want to count the cruiserweights. Yeah, they are technically part of Raw. That's it. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people left off this card as well. Mainly on SmackDown. No Finn Balor. Yeah, no Finn. N- no, no, uh, no Bailey. No Bailey. No Randy Orton. No Shinsuke. <laughs> U.S. title isn't being presented <laughs> at all again. No. Well, yeah. It makes sense, though, if Ray comes back, and that's where they go with it. Yeah, but, you know, that's... But then again, you don't gain anything by putting, you know, one of those guys... Uh, Ray over at this expense of Shinsuke. No, but you know it makes sense. Yeah, not that it would happen here, obviously. No. I guess we can talk about the old men now. Uh, the way the show closed. Yeah. Oh man, how awesome is it? The graphic they're using for the Super Showdown is Shawn Michaels with long hair and he's all clean shaven and everything. And, and then now you he's see this got bald no man and... with the uh, with a beard. Yeah. Well, you know that's just and how it goes. Yeah. I was. Just, it's just funny. It's like. Uh, it's like when Cash Ono came back from to NXT and they were, you know, showing videos Deception. of him like ten years ago, and then it wasn't. We got the man's father. Yeah, he gained a little weight, yeah. but you know, it is what it is. Hey, whatever. I mean, I didn't watch the end, so. <laughs> oh, the show. Yeah, yeah no, I just watched what came on SmackDown. Yeah, so uh, Shawn Michaels comes out <clears throat> and he's talking about. About you know how he's not afraid of the Undertaker, blah blah blah, mm-hmm. um, and that he's not afraid of Kane either. And that's when Kane's music yeah. hit, Kane and then Kane up. appears behind him, punches him in the face, lights go out. Undertaker comes out too, um, and then Triple H runs to the ring. They get beaten up with, you get choke slammed, and then Triple H gets a tombstone, and that's about it. There you go. It was it was kind of exciting in the moment. Again, I think it's nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the funny part is, and I remember this, that, and this is probably a very unpopular opinion. Oh. But when I was watching back all the like the pay per views oh, yeah, yeah. and the WrestleMania match between the Undertaker and mm-hmm. um, Trump yeah, Michaels, Trump. that was like the, the end of the era match. Right, right. No, no, that, no, no, not no. that one. The Retirement match. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, I don't care about this match. <laughs> but everyone, says I already like know who retires, so yeah. it doesn't matter. So it's just funny that everyone made such a big deal about that match, and I didn't really care about it. But then again, it wasn't during the time; it was in retrospect. So right, yeah, yeah, it's that, more of a bigger deal have, in the moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that could be it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess just before we move on to SmackDown, mm-hmm. um, Roman beat Dolph, obviously. Oh, yeah. And uh, Seth, he lost, right? <laughs> I think he did, right? I don't know. You were the one that took the notes. Yeah. I was the one that was sleeping. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Um, mm-hmm. So during the match... Oh, Dolph came out, Yeah, right? Dolph yes. comes out to distract him, and then Seth actually lost because he got distracted by Dolph. And that's when um, Dean came out with the axe handle... So for the third time, I think that night everybody came out for the same. Yeah, should have brought the axe out. Yeah, what happened in Impact. It's a little, a little less dangerous just to have the handle. Tomato, tomato. I guess one's just a little longer yeah, than the other. Exactly. Uh, and then Bobby Roode lost to Connor. <laughs> uh, so that was more of a head scratching moment than anything. <laughs> what the hell are they doing? Yeah. So, but. Whatever. Unless you know there was rumors of James Storm possibly coming back, coming to WWE or back. I guess since he was in NXT for a short period of time, they could reform Beer Money with him and Bobby Roode. Really? That's something that people speculated. Yeah, that makes no sense. How does him losing to the Ascension equate to him teaming up with no, another I, reject? No, I, I'm just saying oh, that okay. that was. There's some shed of hope for Bobby Roode doing something that people actually care about. He just needs to turn heel. He'll be fine. I realize that, but... Whatever. Whatever, man. Stupid WWE. Well, I mean, and this is the thing. I mean, again, their ratings dropped. Not that, like we talked about last week, really matters. But the fact that the product is, you know, 
bad. representation of the ratings when it's not good. It's mm-hmm. not like you yeah. watch shows and you're like, this is really good. I don't know why the ratings are in here. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not the case. No. And you can't blame it on f- Monday Night Football and stuff like mm-hmm. that because that's on old, you know. Yeah, it's well, always it's, a competitor uh-huh. on Monday nights. Yeah, it, um, and, and if that was the case, then it wouldn't be right. the lowest ever. It would just be, or I should say it wouldn't be newsworthy right. if it's low because it's a consistent thing. Yeah, but so the next pay-per-view after Crown Jewel mm-hmm. is going to be Survivor Series. Yes. And the rumors are, what, Team Angle versus Team Corbin? Supposedly, yes. And this is just going to be the Shield and... Drew, Dol- uh, Dolph, and Braun on opposite sides again. Yeah, plus one other person, but it doesn't yeah. matter. Um, yeah. There's no uh, there's no really questioning it. At least the when only... they did it last year, it was TLC, right? Yes. Before mm-hmm. Survivor Series? It was The Shield, but instead of Roman, it was Kurt Angle against we had blessings Braun, in disguise then. Kane, The Bar, <laughs> and The Miz. And we got AJ insane. versus Finn. We did, yes, and that was because Bray was dead. Yeah. Oh, who... Still don't know what's going on with him. Yeah. So yeah, there's been a lot of teasing of turns. Do you think someone's going to turn before Survivor Series and go and be the fifth member of the other team? Because it's possible that Drew turns mm-hmm. yeah, I guess. On, on them. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then you have um, Baron, Dolph, and Braun and the AOP against the, the shield kurt angle and drew mcintyre uh, that's true that would make sense um so i feel i mean we've obviously seen them hint at the whole dean ambrose heel turn i could see vince just turning him heel just because he wants to see renee's reaction <laughs> i guess i don't know i feel like he would be into something stupid like that i guess but you know she 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 hasn't really been favoring him. No, I on know commentary. I, I, so I, know, but I'm just... I don't I don't see them being. Or I should say I don't see there being like that big of a. Like, deal to do something like that. Yeah, yeah but it's Vince, so who knows? He is nuts. Sign, but see an old man. Whatever. It's like my boss. <sighs> yeah, I I don't really see that being. I certainly don't see that as a motivation. Obviously, it's still possible that he does it, but. I, I would much rather them tease this mm-hmm. and then have a turn on the other side. It makes more sense. Yeah, I just don't see Drew as a good face. But it doesn't need to stay that way. I, mean, I guess it's true. Be but, like the whole, uh, what was that, Mark Henry that turned on his team? Back in the day. Yeah, yeah. but he was, on, yeah, he was on the good guy team and he went on the bad guy yeah. team. So, but, ah. yeah, whatever. <laughs> we got time. Yeah, we do. We got um, a lot of time. Uh, so going on to SmackDown. So, oh, before we get there. Okay. So I would assume we have the triple threat for the Universal Championship at Crown Jewel. Mm-hmm. So what is it just going to be? Dean and Seth versus McIntyre and Ziggler? Probably for the tag, tag titles. titles. I would imagine yeah. so. so. And maybe whoever gets the pin is the new IC champion. There you go. That'd be cool. They had a stipulation to it. Yeah. That'd be interesting. It'd be different. Yeah. It would add some excitement to the match. Because mm-hmm. they done it already so many times and they're doing it again on saturday all right so let's talk about smacky damn yeah so Paige comes out and she makes it seem like joe committed the most offensive crime (laughs) known to man yeah but all he did was ring a doorbell yeah no breaking and entering Mm -hmm. he was trespassing i guess yeah well because it's funny because they they cut it off when he rings the doorbell the week before and you don't know what he does. Right. You, you obviously assume he has bad intentions. True. Um, so he did not set a man's house or shack on fire. Yes, like because you Orton. had texted me during the show saying that I guess this is worse than arson. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, well, technically speaking, home invasion can be considered. Uh, <laughs> that would a have been terrorism. amazing if they had him in the ski mask on and just see him go through the window. Yeah, but. Apparently, it was confirmed by Paige that as soon as they got the video, they dispatched people to mm-hmm. AJ's house, yeah. wherever they were in comparison <laughs> to where he lives. Um, whatever. Oh, so and then we got a video of AJ sta- saying that he was staying in his house because he's, you know, scared for his family's welfare. Yes, he wants welfare. to protect his family. Uh, and says that he is not going to uh, He's not leave leaving the house. Until joe boards the plane to australia or whatever yeah so later on in the evening after the mixed match challenge we saw promos for next week charlotte was wearing the same clothes she was wearing that night 
<laughs> and AJ was there to cut the it's promo with secret. <laughs> They're just funny. Mixed Smash challenge isn't canon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even though they keep on tying in all these stories storylines yep. into the yep whatever. Oh, so there is like I I was on the fence just for my own personal um, feelings that Joe might have had a chance, but after mm. that promo with AJ, there's no chance nope. in hell that man's dropping the nope. title. I was hoping because he ends up <laughs> ends up uh, at the end of the promo, he says he's gonna take Joe down at mm-hmm. the Super Showdown. And then, or he said he's not going to just take him down. He's going to bury him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we both were like, oh, buried alive match. Come yep. on. It Come makes on. sense. It does. It'd be great, but it's no. It's not going to happen. They got to ruin all our fun. Yeah. Maybe they'll do that at the... Uh... Crown Jewel. Yeah, we'll, they'll do that then. That'd be nice. It would make sense. Apparently, yeah. they're all about nostalgia over there. It's true. So... Because they wanted the Ultimate Warrior. Is it going to be a tag team Inferno buried alive match for That's the uh, DX versus Brothers of Destruction? That's completely fine. <laughs> Hopefully someone in, dies. In a cage. Yeah. The blue steel cage. Not Kennel from Hell match. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Who thought that was a good idea? Al Snow. Vince Russo. A little pepper. Yeah. You're eating pepper. It tastes good. Uh, uh, so we had a well another mixed tag match yeah. because the mixed match challenge wasn't enough. Yeah, I'm surprised um, Almas and Vega weren't put into it. It would make sense. It made all the sense in the world. Yeah. They faced the fabulous truth. Yes, uh, who are probably the best duo going on. It's, right yeah, now. of course. The transition to the finish was fantastic because Carmella went for a super kick, right? Yeah, uh, Vega Selena blocked Vega it, blocked it, reversed it into a pinning bridge sure, or something yeah yes and then carmel just reversed it into the code of silence and i was like wow that looked really really good mm-hmm. carmel is getting a lot better she is? and t- to but her I've, defense I've, been, I've talked positive about no, i'm not carmel. saying that you haven't i was gonna say to her defense vega is actually a wrestler that's true so a lot of the times she's not really wrestling wrestlers mm. like against charlotte like she was Naomi kind of facing lana in the mixed match challenge yeah, exactly because like when Carmella was up against Charlotte, she was a little outclassed against the much bigger person. So that kind of hurts her a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and also there's a title on the line and stuff like that. Yeah, more pressure and yeah. everything. So I, I think that having a an experienced worker with her that's like a good size mm-hmm. in comparison to her makes it a lot easier to do stuff but that is better. You're also working with that Carmella's a face now, so you know she's meant to look better rather mm-hmm. than being yeah, it's true. the heel that she was yeah you know, that's also true the cheap heel whatever true. you want to call it mm-hmm. yeah because she didn't win by any like particularly impressive means Mm-mm. when she won during her reign so no, it no, all no, makes no. sense and no, no, no. our truth is just like a million times over uh, yeah they, the what's chan- up they yeah. were the crowd was super loud chanting for, for truth tv yes it was it was good it and was it's true good. because our truth is just awesome. Going back to the promos for the mixed match challenge mm-hmm. <laughs> at the end, yeah, because <laughs> our truth <laughs> says something. He said something nuts. He and said, Next week on the mixed match challenge, Carmella is going to face Ric, Ric Flair. Flair. <laughs> and then she goes, "We're going to face AJ Styles and Charlotte Flair." He's like, oh, she's getting confused again. <laughs> But I love when, you know, the words came up on the screen, just a giant question mark came up. I wonder if they're just like, Truth, just go out there and say something. No, there's no way that's not what happens. <laughs> they're not scripting him at all. Uh, he just, he's just beat. They're like, okay, you're going to be you right. with a character that you're, you've been and just go nuts. Yeah. Because... Like, there's no way his songs are, like, something he plans out. He just goes out there and starts... Well, uh, a lot of it is song. the same, yeah. but he does change things up mm-hmm. from here to there. And he doesn't plan it out. He just goes out there and does it. Yeah. So, he's great. Yep. Uh, after that, apparently Ty Dillinger wants revenge on Randy Orton. Yeah. Did doesn't that care happen? About, uh, no. He doesn't care about the uh, U.S. title because he was talking with Paige. And Paige oh, says, yeah, yeah. you know, you, you did beat Shinsuke by DQ last week. That earns you. He's like, I don't care. I want yeah, Randy that, Orton. That is pretty much what he said. Uh, yeah. The match never happened. 
Did he never got out? underway? But he came out. Yeah, they that's fought. when I fell asleep. Oh though. yeah, they fought on the outside. Ty got the upper hand, and then Randy hit a draping DDT off of the barricade, mm. um, and then he pulled the padding around the uh, thing that connects the turnbuckle. And he stuck Ty Dillinger's finger through it. The little, uh, the heart, the uh, the piece of metal. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I got I can't you. think of the name right yeah, now. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, he stuck Ty's finger in there and mm. started pulling it in directions and whatnot. And so, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. so it is going to be Ty Dillinger next. I mean... It has to be now. It makes sense. He's been provoked. Yeah, I guess so. Um, uh, Ty was actually the one to drop Randy on the announce table. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. No, didn't clear it off or anything proud of him (laughs) (laughs) so you get son of a bitch well he's been doing it for such a long time now yep uh well we got at least part of what happened in milwaukee revealed oh god Uh, that's so dumb so apparently i guess aiden was in his hotel room rehearsing yeah for what he was gonna say to milwaukee and then lana came in she said i want you and then cut off the tape yeah which i would assume it's, I want you to turn on Rusev or something like that. No, the, it was probably going to end up being that I want you, like, something, like, not bad. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. he's making it seem like... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to get dragged out. Yeah. But it's going to end up being something like... Innocent. You're, you're making me lose my husband or something yeah. like that. Or yeah. he's too focused on mm-hmm. you rather yeah. than me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But... Um, meh. But, it, yeah, just the way, the whole thing is so dumb. It's true. Yeah. They're killing Rusev Day. I, eh, I guess they're trying, but it's not working. It's not going to work, because they're still going to chant for him. Oh, afterwards. yeah. They're going to chant it regardless, because yeah. they just like chanting things. Mm-hmm. So, we were talking about it during the mismatch challenge. Um, they spoke constantly over the, the tension between Lana and Rusev. And my thought was that maybe the whole reason why they're doing this is so that they can give Naomi and Jimmy a win during the Mixed Match Challenge. Or it's just going to be for them to lose every match yep. in the Mixed Match Challenge. I was going to say, or yeah. an excuse for them not to win, mm-hmm. which makes sense as well. Um, but, I mean, what, what's the payoff here? Nothing. Like, nothing. if they're a husband and wife, they're not going to have a match, obviously. Oh, uh, yeah. They're not going to break them apart. Nope, they can at this point. Especially considering, like for the, for the commercials for the most recent episode of Total Divas is all a about live them. Sex show basically on the beach. Beach, yeah. So they're the only ones that are really featured on the commercial. <sighs> but I mean, this is what happens when you have too much content and you kind of expose yourself. Mm-hmm. Not like Randy Orton, but you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but whatever. It's it yeah. is what it is. Yep. 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 Uh. We, like we talked about earlier, we had Daniel Bryan versus Shelton Benjamin. Mm-hmm. Shelton Benjamin got a win. It's true. Because the Miz. Okay, distracted Daniel Bryan. So uh, are we actually going to see Shelton Benjamin on SmackDown next week? What? We are? I said, are we? Oh, are we? No. No. <laughs> because the only reason why he was there was to be in a match it's, against Daniel what Bryan. What is it going to be? Oh, I beat Daniel Bryan. Okay, what do you want? Everything else is locked up. We got nobody else for you. Yeah. You so. can face Carl Anderson. Or our truth why not because i don't want that okay <laughs> whatever <laughs> uh-oh you got an update yeah um anyway so we got peyton versus oscar again yep. i think that was again i believe this happened recently it's uh, been it's, a combination of the well, two teams wasn't it wasn't it, was it the Billy iconics Kay were facing um naomi and beating her and yeah, then oscar came yeah, back now so they have i guess a match it's it the showdown yeah i think it's oscar's turn to face each of them that's yeah, why i, I got was... you fair enough yeah um we almost learned the pancake recipe for the new day that it got interrupted by the bar unfortunately mm-hmm. um that was more stupid nonsense the bar is complaining about the new day not taking anything seriously yep blah 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 usual nonsense um and then becky came out to unveil her new super showdown poster right, because she was left off the original poster yeah 
And it was just a picture of her standing tall with the women's title in her hand. Yeah. Standing over Charlotte. The picture wasn't bad. No. Obviously, they would never use that for for the ending of the show. No, it was... was, There was no need for it. I hmm. don't know what Charlotte gains by standing tall because the crowd's like, what do we do? We like the bad person Mm -hmm. technically here. Mm -hmm. If anything, what they did was they ended everything on the the guy that or the person who's gonna lose yeah standing tall yeah yeah i mean i guess i mean you know that's well because technically speaking if you talk about interactions that happen in the becky ring, was oh no i was ring. gonna say in general yeah because the miz stood tall against daniel bryan yeah um although that goes against what i, I know wanted, yeah that's... it doesn't mean anything because both of them have a, a reason to win it's true um but we'll go over that on our uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. i was just going yeah, yeah. i was just using a couple of examples because joe technically in de- terms of actions right is the one to do the last thing because aj was just talking well so did joe but in, in theory he did things sure. um i know that's a weird way of putting <laughs> he defiled it. aj's house yes Don't so touch that door knob. yep so anyway leading up to super showdown we gained nothing from this entire two mm-hmm. two shows um the only th- the only couple of bright spots were a couple of small segments on each show yeah um so but whatever it uh oh yeah and they were gonna fire joe because of oh yeah we mm. didn't talk about that i mean because of what he did right and that's and then, went into the whole heinous acts that's and, ever been committed and yeah. aj said no i want to punish him myself yeah. and that's that was that mm-hmm. so yeah um yeah so i guess we will see you guys next time for our preview and predictions video yes yeah, so if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye